At least the question, is it permissible to brush your teeth with toothpaste and toothbrush during the month of Ramadan while you're fasting? Absolutely. There are a number of evidences that we have from both the Qur'an and the Sunnah. From the Qur'an is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it relates to wudu. Ya ayyuhal ladhina aminu, idha kumtum ila salati faqsilu wujuhakum wa aidiyakum ila marafiq. To the end of the ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to make wudu and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to put water in his mouth and spit it out and if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa put water in his mouth and spit it out then it is a possibility that water went down his throat from just the mouth being wet not only that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said لَوْلَا أَنْ أَشُقَّ عَلَىٰ أُمَّتِي لَأَمَرْتَهُمْ بِالسِّوَاقِ عِنْدَ كُلِّ wudu. يعني عند كل الصلاة that if it wasn't for the fact that I would put a burden on my ummah I would command them with the miswak to clean their teeth with the miswak for every salah and the scholars explain that the cleaning of the teeth with the miswak the miswak also has a flavor to it and it also is something the Prophet Sallallahu used to do when he was fasting as well as when he was not fasting Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha she said, As-siwak mutharatun lil fem. That the siwak, the miswak, it is something that is cleansing for the mouth. And it is something that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. So, yes, it is permissible to brush your teeth with toothpaste and a toothbrush while you are fasting. And of course, it would be. Um, safe to make sure that nothing goes down the throat of the fasting person. So the smell, the foul odor that comes from the mouth of the fasting person is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the fragrance of musk. Why? As the scholars say, لِأَنَّ هَذَا نَاشِيَةٌ عَنْ طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ وَكُلَّمَا هُوَ نَاشِئٌ عَنْ طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ فَهُوَ مَحْبُوبٌ عِنْدَهُ وَإِنْ كَانَ مَكْرُوهٌ عِنْدَ النَّاسِ because the foul odor that emanates from the mouth of the fasting person is done out of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that is done out of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beloved to him even though the creation may dislike it. This is a principle that we have in our religion. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al وَالدَّمْ لَوْنَ الدَّمْ لَكِنْ رِيحُهُ رِيحِ الْمِسْكِ The Prophet ﷺ mentioned about the shaheed who will come on the day of judgment, martyr in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And being martyred in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there are certain virtues that come with that. And that the martyr will come on the day of judgment and although his wounds will bleed the red color of blood, this fragrance that comes from those wounds will be like the fragrance of musk. The Prophet ﷺ mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised those who come to make hajj. He said, Unzur ila ibadi, khubran, abatha, that you look at my servants who have come, sha'ra, sha'ruhum, that their, their hair is dusty and disheveled. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises them because although they are dusty and disheveled and they have come to make hajj, they are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because what they're doing is out of, a, out of an act of worship. About toothpaste. Uh, you know, we use toothpaste because we have become lazy and it's a matter of convenience that toothpaste is easier and siwak is, is harder. Uh, now, toothpaste. Uh, besides all the flavorings and all the colors and all those, you know, tasteful things that are put in, uh, there are there's a growing movement against the use of toothpaste mm -hmm. as as it is available in the market because of one of its main ingredients, which is sodium fluoride, sure. which is which is basically rat poison. Mm -hmm. It is used to kill po rats. Mm -hmm. And we put it in our mouth, and you know, they tell us that it's safe and, and all that stuff. But but no matter 
however small quantities you keep doing it over a long period of time all your life and uh, you know a lot of doctors believe that there's a link with cancer and, and a number of other ailments right. with those chemicals so using toothpaste as it is is considered harmful for a lot of people right. let, let alone using it in the state of uh, you know uh, Fasting. While you're fasting, right. And, and, you know, trying to find a substitute for the sunnah and getting away from the sunnah right. itself, you know. So, uh, you know, how would, how would you reconcile that? Good, good point. Good point. He's mentioning that the, uh, most of the toothpaste that we use or what is in the market available today has sodium fluoride in it which also um, erodes the enamel in your teeth. Um, and this is basically now um, pulling us away from the sunnah, which is to clean our mouths with the miswak. Um, as Muslims, we should you know, do our due diligence to make sure that we are on par with the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And aware of why the Prophet Sallallahu used to do certain things. Not just because it's cultural. As some people will say, well, that's the culture of the Arabs, you know, it's a, it's a matter of culture. In some instances, there are certain things that are matters of culture. But everything that the Prophet Sallallahu did, everything that he did was something that was pure and natural, as opposed to today where everything is commercial and artificial. And so, if one can use um, toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride in it or a more concoction of, of things that are more natural like baking soda, uh, salt, and these are also things that help to whiten the teeth as well as these are natural, natural elements that we get from the earth, you know, um, then, you know, that would probably be a better, a better, um, you know, a better thing to do. Uh, and, and, and always using the miswak is definitely something that is probably the safest thing that we can do. You know, so as Muslims, we should always opt for what is more healthy and what is also closest to our deen and closest to the sunnah of the Prophet Without a doubt.